What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG. Today we're gonna to learn how to set up the WooCommerce Google Analytics Pro plugin. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna get weekly WooCommerce videos. All right, let's jump into it. So WooCommerce, Google Analytics, you know, a lot of store owners, they might just have the, their current WooCommerce tracking code that's different than what this plugin does. This plugin sends like detailed events about um, how your customers, like what they're buying, um, their revenue, um, you know, what product they added to the cart, where they abandoned during the checkout process, et cetera. If you wanna set it and forget it, plugin, I would highly recommend this plugin. Now, a lot of users, or even in my experience, have used like Google Tag Manager, or we've had to add like custom, um, like data layers to send uh, Google Analytics um when stuff to like do transactions in the past and this plugin basically just makes it it automates all of it across the board and that's why i'd highly recommend it so if you're someone who um, is pulling their hair out because the taxes on variant products is not showing up correctly in your ga dashboard or just want everything to be precise the first time around um, i'd highly recommend this i think a lot of store owners they just really go and you know, they just pass this to the developer and, or the SEO expert passes them to the developer. And the worst thing about tracking is if you don't track it precisely. So that's why I would really recommend this plugin. Now, if you have a current Google Analytics tracker set up besides this plugin, you have to remove your other um, tracking. So let's jump into it. I am going to go to my analytics, Google or analytics, um, account and I just want to make sure you guys enable this before you set the plugin. So go to your analytics account and go to, click the admin, the bottom left corner of my screen, then click e-commerce settings and then make sure this is on. Make sure the both these steps are checked and enabled. Okay. So then the next step is go and um, purchase this plugin. And next we're going to install it on our store. Again, all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. Okay. So I'm gonna to go to this test store I have set up and I'm gonna upload this plugin and I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new. I'm gonna upload the plugin. I have the zip file on my desktop. I'm gonna hit install now and then I'm gonna activate the plugin. Okay, and then down here I can click the configure button and so then I want to enable Google Analytics tracking and then I'm gonna click authenticate with my Google account. Cool. I'm gonna allow them to do. Okay. If you wanna do this manually as well, you can easily just go, you can click the manual button, click admin, click tracking info, tracking code. and then copy and paste this as well. If you wanna do it like that, I think it's easier just to authenticate it with Google. So now I'm gonna select my property and I just wanna double check, it's the 381. So it's that one. And then before I do anything else, I'm just gonna click save. Cool, and then, so for enabled tracking with administrators, I don't wanna track administrators. I um, already have filtered out that traffic, but. I don't want to track administrators when they're going through the checkout process. I want to use the advertising features. I want to use enhanced link attribution and you know, the advertising features, enhanced link attribution that might be different based on your Google Analytics setup, but I would recommend to enable them and then anonymize IP addresses. I usually check that. Um, I guess that's up to you with like GDPR and everything. And then the track user ID instead of um, unchecking this, and tracking someone's IP, I would rather track their user ID. And um, yeah, I don't have Google Optimize. It's basically like the A-B testing they have Google Optimize. But if you did have an account, you could add it there. And then I wanna track product impressions. So this is like shop category page. This is a single product page. I'm gonna do both. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna click save. So also these are the like the custom event names that we'll send to um, Google. So if a customer signs up, if, you know, someone applied a coupon to the card or moved a coupon, started the checkout, whatever payment method they use, et cetera, um, that will show up. The other cool thing about this plugin is that 
if you're like, if someone is not using this plugin, using like Google Tag Manager and they are just, and you have like PayPal, well, a lot of people, they just go to like slash order slash order received to get the, uh, like the recorded transaction, but this will record it even if it goes to uh, PayPal or another thing that isn't on the order received page. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna quickly clear my cache. Okay, and I'm gonna open up, um, just open up like a Firefox. Let me go here and I'm just gonna get, what do I want? Get a beanie, add it to my cart. I'm gonna update the quantity and I'm gonna proceed to check out. So I just did, you know, I added two beanie or I had one beanie updated the quantity to two and now I can go through the checkout process. Um, before that, I wanna switch back to um, this Google Analytics account and if I go to uh, real time, I can see that there's one user on the checkout page right now. And um, I also can click the events tab and I can see that someone added a product to the cart and um, the cart changed quantity. Now in this um, conversions e-commerce tab, it might take a little bit longer, up to like 24 hours for all your results to show after setting up this plugin, but just know that this stuff will show up in your, um, on your dashboard. Um, here's an example. And I'm just gonna go. So here's an example of like the checkout behavior analysis. Okay. And here's also an example of like the shopping behavior analysis as well. So this plugin really will, will give you a lot of insights on where people are abandoning. Um, and I'm just using these as examples because I only have had, like this is a test account for this tutorial, but you'll really, this plugin will really give you a lot more insight than you wouldn't. Would highly recommend this plugin. I think if you're having issues with um, not having accurate tracking info in your, um, from your WooCommerce to your Google Analytics and you're just sick and tired of using Google Tag Manager or worse, um, as a developer, like you have to add stuff like this, which I've had to do before, where you're sending, you know, the, the product title, you're getting all these things, and then maybe you forget to add the tax rate or you forget to add the coupon code in those custom data layers. Um, this does take a long time to set up as a, as a developer, or even an SEO expert in Google Tag Manager. So that is why I would just really, really recommend um, if you want something to set and forget it, know it's set up correctly to using the WooCommerce Google Analytics Pro plugin. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and comment what video you wanna see next and hope this was worth your while and feel free to vent about Google Tag Manager or using custom data layers with WooCommerce in the comments below. Again, you can find this plugin in the description box below. Give your boy um, some help with his YouTube channel. Awesome. Have a good day, guys. Peace.